welcome to step six, eliminate unnecessary services. So we start with the question, what is a service? If there is a public web server, that server needs to be listening on the HTTP service in order for remote clients to be able to connect to it. Similarly, if there is a public DNS server, that server needs to be listening on the DNS service in order for remote clients to connect to it. When we say a server is listening on a specific service, we mean that we, it will allow remote clients to connect to that specific service. If a server is not listening on a specific service, then a remote client tries to connect to that service, the server will ignore the request and the connection will fail. There is a well-known port for each specific service. The complete list can be found on www.iana.org and it's called Service Name and Transport Protocol Port Number Registry. Yeah, it's really called that. Service names and port numbers are used to distinguish between different services that run over transport protocols such as TCP and UDP. So, what are some common well-known ports? FTP, ports 20 and 21, SSH, port 22, Telnet, port 23, SMTP, port 25, DNS, port 53, TFTP, port 69, HTTP, port 80, POP3, port 110, NetBIOS, port 137, 138, and 139, and HTTPS, port 443. Now, if you work with ports and services, if you work with TCP IP at all, then these well-known ports should pretty much be memorized. You need to pretty much know these. So this is a good list to start with, but just by working with them, you will get to know them if you haven't worked with them much before. So, when we say a server is listening on a service, that's the same as saying that the port for that service is opened. The rule is, only have open ports for services that are necessary. A black hat must take advantage of an open port on a server in order to be able to connect to that server if they're looking to do harm to the server. Therefore, the rule is only have open ports for services that are necessary. Having open ports on a server for services that are not necessary is simply making a black hat's job easier where they can connect to the server and do bad things to that server. Use the commands specific to the server OS to make sure only necessary ports are opened. So each OS has specific, uh, has specific commands that you can use so you can see what ports are opened and not. And also, how do you actually open a port or close a port? You will use those commands. You can also use a firewall to drop packets on unnecessary ports before the packet actually gets to the server at all. That is the end of step six. We will see you soon in step seven.